So what is the scope of DevOps in today's world? Uh, because there are a lot of people, you know, mm -hmm. uh, inclined towards the development market and this industry is booming. So what is the scope of DevOps in all of that? So actually, like DevOps principles are really important nowadays because you shouldn't make your software to only work locally. Like you should also think about making it available to everyone. So whether you publish it on the web or on a public open source repository on GitHub, uh, the time you spend automating releases, scan vulnerabilities, and trigger deployments will keep ensuring the quality of your software. So it's it just not like t t today. Honestly, like you, you can make your software on like in your bedroom and do okay. This works on my on my computer. This is awesome. No, like you should ensure you should make sure to have uh, a dev environment which is close to your production one and to have like isolated environments. Otherwise, you will just hit your head against like issues that have been solved by DevOps tools and DevOps yeah. principles like um, like a few, few few years ago. I mean, so so yeah, you, you should jump into that. Like, it doesn't matter like your background, if you have a Hobbs background, if you have a Dev background, uh, you should like in integrate these tools in your daily workflow and you will see that it will save you a lot of time. Yeah, yeah like I, I would also add here that, you know, previously, like I haven't, I don't know, like there are like few guys who just do the deployments uh, on the Linux servers. Yeah. Some companies have in-house, you know, servers, the whole server room, they mm -hmm. have like a lot of, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, air conditions to like cool them down and stuff. And mm -hmm. then like all of a the sudden there are like, you know, some automation in the deployment yeah. and stuff started, you know, introduced in the market. And then there used to be like two, three guys. And now I even in the backend uh, jobs or in the front end job, like you will, uh, get questions related to the cloud you know they will ask you that if you're interviewing for even like i would say a back-end role they will ask you you know do you know about aws do you know about like deployments yeah, yeah. do you know about like kubernetes or like do you know about docker like it is not related to development right so, yeah it's, yeah it's, it's, so, so, so basically it's like it's like oh that's cool you know to make a binary tree but do you know how to deploy it now and do you know how to monitor it because i, I think like these things are more important than um or knowing how to like call the binary tree like it's important uh, to know how you will ship your app like seamlessly and just monitor it and just make escape because this is like the real added value in the company yeah. like every um, i mean not everyone but like a lot of people can ship like a software one time but yep. ca can can they do it twice can they do it both can they deploy it before to a staging oh. platform and then do QA on it and then like ship it to the production and monitor it and scan the vulnerabilities and so on and so on. These these are like the real edit values like on the product life cycle, to be honest. Yeah. And and on then, the tech side, on the technical side. Of and then I will, uh, I also think because, you know, like it is because of DevOps that you have this auto scaling, you're not concerned about it. Previously, I know mm. that, you know, people working 24 seven, they are like guys working in, you know, like three shifts, they are concerned about, you know, the CPU usage, the CPU usage going up, we have to, you know, do something, increase <laughs> the RAM of the server, <laughs> or then you have like, yeah. dedicated servers you cannot increase the ram like simply increase the ram you know no no you have to migrate your setup to some other server or you have to deploy your system to some other server mm -hmm. and then add some load balancer on top of it all of that uh, you know manually but now you specify you know auto scaling groups you specify all of this using devops different tools and softwares mm -hmm. if there's like a lot of traffic you know, you have run some marketing campaigns, you do not have to worry about or sit in front of your laptop seeing, okay, the traffic is going up, I have to do some, you know, changes in the infrastructure. <laughs> Just like it, will, it, yeah. it will happen automatically, new resources will be attached to your, you know, servers, and then your whatever the traffic is the people can use it normally and then when the traffic is down automatically the additional resources which are added by the cloud provider mm -hmm. it will be you know deleted and then uh, you're not even you know are paying for that yeah. so you're only paying for what you are using from that particular cloud provider mm -hmm. yeah exactly